When you talk about like dudes trying to intimidate you because you were the young dude um, and you're out three months later, you know, and you feel like you held it down. Did you have any incidences where people tried to test you and stepped here or did you see any sort of like crazy violent shit on your first, you know, your first time in? Not really on the, not really the first time, eh? Because I don't know, like I, I bumped into a few people that I knew when I was in there, like, and it was just more, when you're that age, it's more like, I don't know, you have a laugh about it, like, you know what I mean, because you're young, you don't give a shit, like, it's more like fun and games, like, but I did, I didn't have no dramas that time, but I, I, I have had dramas a few times, like, in the nick a few times, like, I remember there was one time, um, I went to, uh, John Maroney 2, where that's like a, it's not a, it's not a maxo, like it's not a maximum security, it's minimum security. But the thing is, like sometimes uh, minimum security is worse, like, because there's less screws around, you know what I mean? And it's sort of like you got more freedom to roam around, like, so what would happen, I remember the first night I went to M double I mean, John Maroney 2 at Windsor, um... The, they don't like it's because it's a minimum security you kind of locked in like a house it's kind of like sort of like big brother house you kind of locked in this house and so when it's time to um do the muster and then they lock you in boys are like free to roam around in the unit you know what i mean so if they if they if they don't like you they'll just come in and like try and stand over you you know what i mean so um, I think that was one of the f second or third times I went in and then, um, so it was my first night there, you know, and I, and cause I got there late, I didn't see anyone I knew. And then I did bump into this guy that I knew and he goes, Oh, come into my unit, stay in my unit, you know? And then, so I stayed with him and then they were getting on the, they were smoking ice, you know what I mean? They were like revving the whole night, like, and I and I I only just got there. I was trying to get s some sleep, you know what I mean? And then next minute, like, I just wake up to this lad trying to like smash me, you know what I mean? And he was like, "Oh, you know, we've got a new room for you to go to." And I said, "Yeah, whatever." Like, so I grab my my shit, and he goes, "Go into this room," and they. They, they try and do mind games, you know what I mean? So they deliberately put me in this room with this spinner. I could already tell he was a spinner straight away. I thought, oh, yeah, they're putting me in with the spinner, you know? And then so um, I I thought, fuck them, you know what I mean? I'm going to go to sleep. Like, I don't give a fuck. Like, I just want to get some sleep, you know what I mean? So I thought, I don't care if I'm in with this guy. So I just started sleeping. And then next minute, I woke up and they were they were bashing the guy I was in the cell with and they were saying to him buzz up you know like so that means you press the buzzer and you tell the screw oh I'm too scared come and get me you know what I mean like they want you to buzz up and then once you buzz up you're pretty much going on protection you know what I mean like and if you do that there's no return you can't come back into the the main you know what I mean so he's going oh like he started whinging to me I said bro I don't want to hear it just just go to sleep, you know what I mean? And then, so, they ended up, like, smashing him, like, I f oh, yeah, I think he couldn't take it anymore, and he left his cell, and then I could just hear mumbling, like, out in the hallway, and, bro, they were just smashing him, like, I don't know. And then next minute, I just hear him buzzing up, oh, chief, come and get me, you have to come and get me, and I thought, I'm not going out like that, you know what I mean? Like, I thought they'll have to fucking stab me. I don't care. Like, I'm not buzzing up. Like, and then so I'm there trying to sleep. And then so old cuz comes in and he goes, Oh, you got five minutes to pack your shit too because you got to go. You know what I mean? And I said, Bro, you don't even fucking know me. Like, I just got here. You know what I mean? I said, No, nah, I'm not going nowhere. I don't care. Like, I don't care, bro. Like, so he goes, Yeah, we'll see. We'll see. And then so I went to sleep again. 
And next minute I just wake up, there's about maybe five blokes like trying to smash me while, while I'm trying to sleep. So I go, all right, all right, all right. I'll pack my shit. I, and I thought, and they left the room. And I, I knew I wasn't going to pack my shit, you know what I mean? So I thought, fuck this. So I just put my shoes on and I thought, they have to stab me, bro. I'm not going. Like, So I, so I went out. I, it's like I, w I had fear. Like I was scared. I was thinking, man, I'm going to have to punch on with all of them. Like. And it's like the fear turned into anger. Like I was like, fuck this, they're not they're not making me go. Like so I went out there and I just said, What you want me out of the you want me out of this unit? And then I just started like punching on with this lad, like, bro, and and they were spewing because I started getting it over him. They probably thought he was gonna smash me. I was getting it over him. And then out of nowhere this lad just full dog shot me, bro. I didn't even see it he just come in from the side boom and then like i just seen stars and then like i kind of got back up and i was like what are you is, is it all is it me versus all you? you know what i mean and then because of all the commotion there was uh, there was a lot of vietnamese lads um because these guys i was punching on with were aussies and then there was these vietnamese lads that went to work like they must have had to get up early and go to work like in the morning so they they come in and they yelled out, they said, hey, hey, leave him alone, blah, blah, blah. So anyway, they said, go to your room, mate, like that. So I went back to my room. I thought, fuck, I'm like, so I, I went back to sleep. And then he told him, like, man, you just need to, like, shut the fuck up. We're trying to sleep. Like, so they kind of calmed down, you know. But then in the morning, when I got up, I was still G'd up. Because I thought, man, they're, they're going to try and still try and get me out. And I'm not going, like. You got to kind of stand your ground in there, you know what I mean? And so I, I was going up to cunts and I was saying, oh, do you want me out of this unit? And they're going, no, 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 we don't want you out. Like, you, what did you do? And I said, no, nah, nothing. And they're like, no, no, you're sweet, bro. Like, And then eventually the, that afternoon, they were like, oh, no, nah, we're just testing you like to see if you, you know, you would like buzz up or not. Or, you know what I mean? And so after that, it was all sweet. They were saying, oh, come eat with us and... You know what I mean? You just got to stand your ground, like, and not buckle, like, and and then the next morning I see my mate Toza, and he was in B wing, which was the the Curry unit, and he saw because I had a black eye from the fight, and he goes, "Oh, who did that?" And I said, "Oh, no, just these Gronks in the in the unit." And he goes, "Oh, do you want me to get the boys and we'll smash them?" You know what I mean? I said, "No, nah, don't worry about it. It's all sweet now." So, you know, I've had some dramas in there, but not like. Not heaps of dramas, but I've seen some people, like, um, really get, like, bashed hard, hardcore, bro. Like, knocked out and blood pissing out of their head, you know what I mean? And just shit <laughs> that I think, fuck, I'm glad that wasn't me, you know what I mean? <laughs> like, bro, like, yeah, it's pretty, it gets pretty full on in there, bro. But you just gotta stick to yourself, you know what I mean? Like... The, the, the lesson. Oh, yeah.